Hello YouTube, this is Taylor Moss here from Everything Under the Sun. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite features of Windows 7 called Network Bridging. Uh, if you just go down to your wireless connection and open the Network and Sharing Center, uh, if you are directly plugged into the wall, it will be the computer looking icon. Next, uh, go up to Change Adapter Settings, and right here you'll have your local area connection, which is your Ethernet plugin. So it's the port in your computer where you actually plug into the computer to get internet access and then if you are on a laptop or as myself a desktop with a wireless card in it uh, you'll have your wireless network connection so in order to get them bridged just uh, click on one hold shift and right click on them both and go to bridge connections and Windows will set up a network bridge now a network network bridge is one of the coolest things um, I don't know, since the internet. Uh, it's really awesome. What it does is it basically connects your local area connection and your wireless network connection. So what that means is that since I'm connected through the to the internet through my wireless connection and I'm bridged to my LAN connection, I can plug in an ethernet cable to my computer and plug into my friend's computer who sits here who might not have a wireless plug-in. Or say you have an older generation Xbox without the built-in wireless adapter. You can plug in to my computer from his computer and we can both access the internet through my wireless network. Um, the reason it's so cool is just that. I mean, if you guys are having a LAN party but only one of you has a wireless network card or one of you's on a laptop, just bridge your connections and then you guys can all have access while you guys play along on the internet. Uh, so as you can see, the internet works just fine and yeah, hope you guys learned something.